It's not old and out of fashion. It's part of the new expensive retro look. A 100% polyester power suit with wide lapels. A slightly flared inseam. And the pièce de résistance, a tie from the same era. A testament to fashion in a raw, unbridled state of anarchic conformity. I can't wait for the town picnic. My dad and I have been practicing for the crazy Olympics. I hope you practiced the backward real bower race. I'd hate to see Angela and her father win it again. For the fourth year in a row, she never stops bragging about it. Well, she won't have anything to brag about this year. My dad and I are going to win. What an ugly suit! Who'd buy that? Oh, yes! For a job selling vintage 70s cars, there is no finer garment than Carney Carlson's old polyester power suit! It's perfect. But is it affordable? Don't worry, I'll throw in the tie for free. When you strut out onto a used car lot, no customer will be able to take their eyes off you! Hiya, kids! Nice day, huh? The brake slipped. <laughs> well, I have a new part-time job, so I can afford a new garage door. It's... it's... That's right, it's Carney Carlson's original polyester power suit. Isn't it something? Well, you can't take your eyes off it. When I'm working at the used car lot, it'll really attract customers. We've got cars, vans, convertibles, and RVs. Come on down to Carney Carlson's used cars, where the customer is always the winner. Whoa, he's really wearing it. He's sure acting different. Hmm. Dad, can you help me with this math question? Sorry, you'll have to get Mom to help you tonight. I have to get to my new part-time job. See you later. <laughs> now listen to me, vampire girl. Stop bugging your dad about dumb things like homework, because now he belongs to me. Ah! Oh. Must get control. <laughs> Mona, clean this mess up. You're supposed to be doing your homework. This is starting to get serious. I had to fight the tie. Good thing your dad didn't buy a suit of armor with a sword and stuff. What are you gonna do? Just a warning, Miss Vampire. My dad and I are going to beat you and your father again this year at the backwards wheelbarrow race. I don't think so, Angela. After the way we beat you last year, I bet your father doesn't even show up. He will too show up. Huh. Are we still going bowling after school, even though your dad has that part-time job? Of course. My dad would never cancel bowling. He loves bowling. I'm really sorry, kids. I forgot all about the bowling. I have to work. That's okay, Dad. But you're going to make it to the town picnic on Saturday, right? We have to beat Angela and her father in the backwards wheelbarrow race. I don't know. I have to work that day. Your dad would never cancel a date with us to go bowling. I think the suit's taking over. We have to stop it. Thanks for letting us visit, Monsieur Murray. I was worried that you'd still be angry about us defeating you that time when you tried to take over the world with your mannequin army. We're all glad that you've given up on world domination. <clears throat> yes, about the polyester power suit. Well, it was a fashion statement that left its mark on the universe. And that particular suit belonged to Carney Carlson, the old owner of the used car lot. The used car lot? Now it's back where it began. We have to destroy the suit. It's not possible. It's made out of 100% polyester. It's virtually indestructible. Now this baby is the Iron Horse. Used to belong to a little old lady who drove it only on Sundays. It's a steal at twice the price. 10% down, 3% financing, 96 hour warranty on parts and labor. This is a car that was built to last. 
Don't worry, I won't charge you extra for the removable bumper feature, and I'll throw in a pine-scented air freshener. Deals, deals, deals at Carney Carlson's used car. The customer's always the winner. And if you're not, we'll throw in a free bus pass and a box of day-old donuts. Guaranteed. This car is very rare. It'll get you a lot of looks with the ladies, and I'm prepared to practically give it away. That's right, give it away. You're taking the shirt right off my back. That suit has to be destroyed. But I've got to get it when Dad isn't wearing it. Looking for me. You'll have to do better than that. I'm indestructible, invincible. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Ha. <laughs> Mona? You're wrinkling your father's suit. And what are you doing up so late? That's all right. It's 100% polyester. Uh, I got up for a glass of water and the suit fell on me. Good night. Oh. I don't know, Fang. I don't think Dad will be going to the picnic with that suit around. Hey, honey, you better hurry up or you'll be late for school. Yeah. You're upset that I won't be going to the town picnic, aren't you? Yeah, kind of. Well, I got this job so we'd have some extra money so we could enjoy some of the finer things in life. We'll have to make a few sacrifices, but later we'll be glad we did. I understand, Dad. Come on, the suit's at home. When my dad goes to his day job, he wears his usual clothes. Then this is the perfect time to attack it. The town picnic's tomorrow. My father and I are looking forward to beating you and your father again at the backwards wheelbarrow race. That is, if you're not too chicken to show up. This is a job for Mona the Vampire, Zapman, and Princess Giant. Charlie, bring your Zapparama loaded with grape juice. Lily, bring your dad's supersonic stapler. You got it! Sure! Lily, you go through the back door. Charlie, you take the front. Fang and I will go through the window. How come I don't get to go through the window? Because I'm the vampire. Oh, right. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Anybody home? <laughs> Looking for me. You're surrounded. Just give up peacefully and we'll go easy on you. Eh, let's make a deal. An old-fashioned deal where we're all happy and we're all winners. Get him! <laughs> no! I'm indestructible, unbeatable, and polyester stretches like no other fabric. Call me after the spin cycle. indestructible and completely stain resistant Staple up princess giant uh, it won't go there's a tag it says do not dry clean what are you doing to your father's suit it was haunted so we were going to destroy it. But it's your father's. Not anymore. I quit my part-time job. I realized that the finer things in life I wanted were just to spend more time with my family, including going to the town picnic tomorrow. Great! We better get this suit to the dry cleaners. Here's your father's suit, miss. Cleaned to perfection. 
As for you, the good news is the one hour cleaning is complete. The bad news is the suit's ruined. My dad just got a very lucrative part-time job that's going to make us richer than we are already. Well, see you tomorrow at the picnic, dweebs. Her dad isn't going to any picnic tomorrow. He's selling cars. Yeah! Yeah! Mona, your mother gave Lily and me five dollars to help out, not to be your lab rats. You're doing such a great job, Charlie. I just wanted to give you a break. Charlie, stop it! You're getting dust everywhere! Well, how else are we gonna get the floor clean? Hey, look! There's a drain. That gives me an idea. Wash the dirt down the drain. Uh, I think the water level's going up, not down. Wait, Charlie, turn it on, turn it on! Uh. Oh, no! <laughs> the drain must be clogged. This should help. <laughs> What's down there anyway? I can almost feel the clog. Right here. Ouch! I pricked my finger on something. Is everything all right, kids? Should I come down? No, Mom. Don't water. I mean, don't worry. We're flooding fine. I mean, doing fine. We're doing fine. If she sees this, I'll be scrubbing the bathroom grow with a toothbrush. Yeah! Kids, lunch is ready. <laughs> what was that? Maybe you have mice. Yeah, that has to be it. But I think that this year, I can manage to sell the most cookies at school and win that brand new bike. Oh, yeah. I guess I should have warned you. My mother made me clean my room. It's like we're standing in the wrong house. I kind of like it. Each thing in its place. That's my new motto. Hey, did you clean up your closet too? No, not the closet! Whoa! Who am I kidding? I'm not cut out for spring cleaning. How am I supposed to find anything in this, this order? My chaos had a system to it. It'll take at least three months to get back that lived-in look. Are those the school cookies? Do you think you'll manage to sell them all? <clears throat> of course. They're delicious. And low-fat, too. <coughs> Ugh. They taste worse than last year. I'm stuck with them. Kids, you left your soda pops on the kitchen table. I didn't take out soda pops. Did you? Not me. Whoever it is read my mind. Here's to our secret benefactor. Ah! More like a secret prankster, I'd say. <gasps> I'll investigate you tomorrow. I need sleep. Oh, no! My favorite mug! I had to buy 24 donuts to get this free mug. Does anyone know how many sit-ups you need to do to burn off two dozen donuts? You sure are hungry for someone who had cookies for an appetizer. Cookies? Me? Oh, no. 
I was supposed to sell those for school. Dad! It wasn't me, honey. I still haven't digested the ones from last year. Did anyone see my car keys? I'm sure I left them on the table. Mona, didn't I ask you to clean out the basement yesterday? But we did, I swear. You're coming home straight from school and no TV until you do the work right. No mouse could make that mess. Everything was totally trashed. And now I have to clean the basement all over, by myself. Well, at least now the drain is unclogged. Yeah, the drain. You know, I was wondering about how you nicked your finger. It kind of looks like a bite mark. Exactly. So I did some research in my encyclopedia of beasties and boogies. Look what I found. A droll troll? The droll troll, prankster by nature, resides in caves and grottos, but has been known to establish residence in homes where it thrives in clutter, free to indulge in practical jokes. It must have come in through the drain yesterday. That would explain the soda pop, the broken mug, and the missing car keys. And this one craves school cookies. Did I hear someone mention cookies? You know, I've sold 20 boxes already. It looks like I'll break my own record from last year. It doesn't count if you get your own daddy to buy out the school stocks. We'll see when they give me that brand new bike. What a show off. I only sold one box and that was to my mother. Now she's putting cookies in my lunch. Yuck. We'll just feed them to Mona's droll troll. Don't kid, this is serious. Let me show you what a droll troll can do. The Freeman's house. I heard that they moved to Australia because of a droll troll infestation. They moved because of missing keys and broken dishes? That's only the start. Eventually, a droll troll will make your life miserable. The only way to get rid of them is to move away. That means your family might have to move too. Hi, Dad. How was your day? Fine, aside from having to take the bus. You still haven't found your keys? No, and the spare keys are locked in the car. And now I can't find the TV remote. Meow. Fang, come here, you bad cat. Meow. Look what your cat did. He chewed up my Italian shoes. Fang wouldn't do that. He doesn't even like Italian. Well, it certainly wasn't gremlins or, or trolls. Hello? Hello? Why can't I hear? Oh. This is very annoying. Fang? Annoying? Oh no, it's already begun. Dad, would we ever move away? Right now, I'd move to Australia if that's where we left the remote. Where is that thing? I can't move to Australia. Summer is winter there. But why can't we do it during the day? Why pretend to sleep over? A droll troll is a nocturnal creature. We have to wait until it comes out on its own. And we can't let it catch us asleep. Uh, what? I'm awake, I'm awake. Oh, jeez, look at the time. We've been here all night. It'll be dawn soon. Maybe we should call it a night. Shh, listen. It must be the droll troll. Let me get my toe fat shaker. I think I put it here. Or maybe it's over there. How am I supposed to find anything in here? I knew cleaning my room was a bad idea. We'll just have to do without it. Ready? coming from? Oh, no. It's an infestation. Quick, we have to catch them. Oh. Oh. They booby trapped the basement. Ah. I got one. They trapped me. Mona, help us. I can't see her. What have you lousy troll sent her? Oh, I'm beginning to feel nauseous. Hey, trolls, how about a snack? I have delicious school cookies. 
That's right. And I know where to find plenty more. since anything's been missing at home. So I guess we're rid of the trolls once and for all. Your parents must be relieved. They thought a family of raccoons moved into our basement. They called animal control, but all they found was teeth marks. I wish you'd tell us where you took the trolls. Let's just say that they have all the school cookies that they could possibly eat. They really love them. Hello, slackers. Look at what they gave me for selling the most cookies. It isn't nearly as nice as the bike my daddy bought for my birthday, but it beats letting one of you have it. Ta-ta! Oh, rats! This kind of thing has been happening a lot in the past two days. I'm gonna tell her. Eventually, 